Barack Obama is now the presumptive Democratic nominee. And with us is the chairwoman of the Connecticut Democratic Party, Nancy DiNardo, who is actually the last state superdelegate to endorse anyone. Um, why did you hold out so long? Everyone was wondering what you were going to do. Well, Sue, I had held out because I really felt it was important that the whole process play out. If we had all gotten on board in February or in March, then I doubt that we would have had all these hundreds of thousands of people register and come out and vote in the subsequent primary. So I felt it was important that people stay involved and stay excited. I and mean, some of the states, the last states, have never been involved in picking the presidential nominee. So I think it was a great time for the Democratic Party and for the country. So that's basically why I stayed out. Barack Obama won the primary. What does that say to you? In Connecticut? Yes. Well, I felt that it was one of 50 states in the primary. That wasn't the only reason why I uh, supported uh, Senator Obama at the time. I felt that I wanted, as I said, I wanted to wait until everything uh, played out and who would be the best one for our convention so that who will go on to win in November. And I did feel that both of them uh, were great candidates and both could probably win. I felt that he was going to be the front runner and make the difference. What do you think is going to happen to Clinton supporters? Where will they go? Will they rally behind Obama? Well, I, that is a concern of the party, but you know, it's early right now. It was a long process, and an important process, and I know there are people who are still feeling upset that uh, she was not the candidate, but I thought she gave a great speech last week and came on and is supporting Senator Obama, because we have to recognize it's very important to uh, elect a Democrat. Uh, come November. Our country is at a critical time right now and we don't need four more years of a person like George Bush that we would see in Senator McCain. And we have to start moving forward and building the country up, uh, having people from other countries like us again. I mean, right now we are not very well liked and it's very important to have a person that can restore faith in our country and I do believe uh, that is Senator Obama. Do you think Hillary Clinton waited too late to jump on board and support the Democratic Party? No, no, I think it was fine that the process played out. Again, it's uh, got more people involved who might not have ever been involved. What about the running mates? What do you think uh, Barack Obama will do? You know he must be thinking about it. You probably have a lot more information than we well, do. Well, I don't have a lot of information <laughs> other than he is looking at a lot of different people. And he's looking at, obviously, Hillary Clinton, and he's looking at governors, but he's also looking at Chris Dodd. Chris Dodd is still in the mix as a possible uh, running mate for him. I know there are many people who really would like to have Hillary Clinton uh, be his running mate. Um, and it certainly would add a lot to the ticket, as uh, she has said, you know, it's 18 million people that she had supporting her. So it can certainly be her, and it would be a party unifier, but it's hard to say right now. I mean, he's looking at everybody, so it's going to be an interesting process still. How does that work? I mean, you have two people like Obama and Clinton who fought so hard against each other and then come together. Uh, does that work in your mind? Is that a good, successful ticket? Oh, I think it'll work. I mean, what they were trying to do is distinguish themselves from each other in the primaries. And it was very difficult because so many of the issues that they uh, believe in, they're very similar. So I think that's what happened and, um, as they were trying to campaign. Uh, they were poking fingers at each other to distinguish themselves from one uh, from the other. So I really do think that it is definitely possible. It was interesting because last week on Face the State, we had your counterpart, Chris Healy, mm -hmm. from the Connecticut Republicans, who despite the fact that Obama won the primary here in Connecticut, and we haven't had a Republican uh, in the White House since, what, 88, uh, that he feels that uh, Obama is not going to win Connecticut and that McCain is going to take the state. What's your reaction to that? Oh, I don't think so. I think you meant <laughs> uh, we haven't, Connecticut hasn't gone for a Republican since 1988. Um, but um, no, I don't believe so. I, I think if you look at the polls, although polls, it's still early, are uh, clearly showing that Senator Obama uh, will win this election. But 
Uh, Connecticut has been a strong democratic state uh, for many years, and I doubt that it will go for McCain. And the candidates are so different. I mean, if you look at Barack Obama and Senator McCain, I mean, and not just age, but experience and different things, how do you think that will play out? I mean, they're both very, very different people with different viewpoints. Right. But what you see in John McCain really is another George W. Bush and that is not what the country needs right now. We do need to have change, and we need to have somebody that will uni unify people, energize people, and get people uh, working together in America, and that would be with Senator Obama. Tell us about the convention, what you think is gonna happen um, there. Well, that's, that's <laughs> gonna be, I think it's gonna be very exciting. We're getting a lot of people who want to come as guests, but uh, we really don't know what kind of passes there's going to be because, um, so many people want to be part of this historic time. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a great time. Conventions usually are a great time, and uh, we're working to make sure that the Connecticut delegation um, has a good time while they're there. Well, I've worked a few conventions, and I remember in years past, it was always an element of surprise, and it's becoming less and less as we go along. I think people have a pretty good idea who the nominees are going to be. Right, but if you remember, uh, in 04, uh, Senator Obama was one of the uh, speakers that, and he brought down the House. I mean, people were very excited about his message, and that's when people started paying attention to him. So I don't know who the speakers are going to be, but I'm sure there'll be some exciting people again this year. And you'll be there with the super delegates yes. and delegates yes. from Connecticut. 60 delegates from Connecticut. Excited? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Well, we oh, hope well, to have you, you back here sometime. Absolutely. Again, hopefully yes. soon. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Nancy DiNardo. Okay.